Okay, now it's time to set up the initial settings for the fur or the fiber mesh. So um, in the tool menu, we scroll down to fiber mesh, hit preview. And now we can see where it's um, a high mask intensity, you got long hairs. And where there's lower mask intensity, you got shorter hairs and there's um, not as much hair in the same area. I mean, it's more dense here and less dense here. Okay, um, the most important settings to have right from the start is max fibers, uh, because you can't change the amount of fibers once you hit accept. And um, what you can do if, if you notice that you get not the, the right amount of hair, you can go back to the body and you can create more fiber mesh. The only thing is that they, you will have sort of two uh, sub tools with fiber mesh that you have to, you know, groom separately. So that's not maybe the optimal solution. Also length is nice to have um, sort of the same length that you're gonna end up with. And that's just to uh, easier evaluate that you have the right amount of max fibers. Coverage as well is very good to have the right amount of. It's something that you can change later on after you hit accept, but <clears throat> it's it's nice to have a good setting. Um, also, yeah, segments down here. That was coverage. Uh, segments, you know, that was uh, basically if this is a hair, how many points you have. If you have three segments, you get one, two, three, root and tip. And I would say that, uh, yeah, three, three, maybe four is fine. The longer the fur will be, the more, um, the more segments it should have. And if it's really short, you will probably, I mean, two might be fine, but I'm going to go with three or four, maybe. Okay. Um, three so okay uh, scale root and tip as well that's um, scale root and tip Rup. they are over here and that was sort of scale root how wide it should be and scale tip how wide it should be at the end base sorry <laughs> root and tip yeah, but I mean, 1.25 for root and uh, 0.75 for tip is going to be good. So let's start cranking the max fibers up. This is at a thousand. So um, let's try a hundred maybe. And it's kind of hard to evaluate right now because of, you don't have any anti-aliasing um, so I'm gonna take that as uh, sub pixel settings to maybe one just to get a fast render uh, hmm. yeah took kind of a while to render so I'm just gonna go raise angle hmm. don't have to be that much four maybe yeah yeah it feels a bit <clears throat> like it's uh, not enough amount of fur here I sort of can see the um, uh, the skin right through there uh, the length feels quite good and how about coverage that is basically how uh, wide each hair should be right now it's uh, 62 so I don't think it would be good to crank it up because hair is thin yeah 
Let's crank this up to 120 maybe. And test render. My main concern is this area where you can sort of see right through. And I mean, if you have, but this looks kind of good. Um, if you ha have fur that is pointing in the direction of the camera, you will always sort of see through. So basically what happens if it's more like this, it's better. And um, I mean, we can always, <laughs> we can always cheat. It's um, right now we can see the skin, but I mean, if we paint the same, um, paint the fur and the skin in the same color, it would blend together better. Maybe just one sixty, maybe I don't know. Let's go with one sixty. Yeah. It'll be fine. And also, I mean if there's <clears throat> if there's some small area in the in the face where the skin is showing through, we can always just, you know, go back and just add a separate um, fiber mesh tool just for that area. It's uh, it's fine. So I think it's time to hit accept. Yeah. And um, just remember, always try to test render it. It's always kind of hard to see what's going on when you have this uh, look. Okay, now it asks if I want to activate fast preview rendering and I would like this. Basically what it does is after I hit accept there, it has created this um, new sub tool below the body, which is called fibers. You go down to the fiber mesh settings in the hair once again, and you can see the fast preview is activated and you can just turn it off or turn it on. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, the uh, previous ability is set to 78. So I'm just going to crank it up to 100. And that is basically how many percent of all the hairs do we want to show in the viewport. So. That's the initial settings for fur.